Okay, in this video we're just going to talk about the new firmware release for the Panasonic G9 Mark II. So it's really good news for um, people that want to shoot video on the um, new G9 Mark II, which, you know, they build it as kind of a photo first camera, a hybrid camera. But now Panasonic have just released the um, introduction of uh, version 2.0 firmware. And in that firmware, it's essentially going to give you the ability to um, record RAW over HDMI. So you can kind of see on here uh, just the Lumix cameras uh, Twitter page. You may have already seen this, but if you haven't, um, they've essentially just said, you know, there's new firmware coming soon. And they've given kind of these specs. I don't think anything's actually sort of in stone yet, but, um, you know, from from looking at this, this is essentially more or less comparable to what you'll get on the um, the GH6. So we'll just quickly kind of dig through it and, and sort of have a look. So you can kind of see for a start the um, other Blackmagic Video Assist is, is kind of there. So you've got Blackmagic RAW and we've got um, Atomos uh, Ninjas or Shogun. So um, we've got ProRes RAW as well, Apple ProRes RAW. So obviously that's great news for anybody that wants to record 12-bit raw video over HDMI to an external recorder. And if we jump over to the uh, download page for um, Panasonic firmware, you can kind of see if we're here, this is the G9 Mark II, and you can see we've got V2 coming soon. So like I said, there's no solid kind of footnotes for it, but they've kind of given what they can in this so um, as I say if we if we jump into the uh, GH6 we've got more or less kind of the same details from this um, actually sorry you can't find it on there just a second uh, if we go on to the if we go on to this page here we've got all the old firmware updates so you can see version um, 2.0 actually for the GH6 was the same one where you got the uh, raw video output to um, to HDMI and you can see kind of the, the specs are essentially the, the same as what's in this post so you can see we've got um, 5.7k C4k anamorphic 5.8k um, anamorphic and 4.4 uh, and if we jump back over to the um, to the post here, you can see 5.8 C4K. Uh, it doesn't quite sort of expand as far as that, but um, you know, I'm I'm fairly certain we're going to be seeing more or less the same things out of this. But um, in in this version 2.0, uh, we actually only got ProRes RAW, so um, we we didn't get uh, Blackmagic RAW until um, firmware version 2.3. So it's essentially this update as well as um, this ProRes RAW update just all rolled into one. So it's a really really good firmware update. Um, like I say, you know, for anybody looking to kind of shoot RAW, it's, it's a really good update. It adds a lot of value to the camera for anybody, you know, looking to use video on it. And again, I did a little bit of uh, kind of digging around. I mean, they obviously it's not released, but um, on the, uh, the Blackmagic page uh, for the video assist, you can see that the G9 Mark II is on here now, uh, just underneath the, the G86 between the S1, we've got the, the G9 Mark II. So it's there, but we don't have, um, you know, there, there isn't any more information about it there and the uh, same on the Atomos page we've got the GH6 but we don't have the G9 Mark II there yet but um, as I say I'm, I'm fairly certain we're going to be seeing more or less these specs so you know from the um, from the Atomos side of it it's the um, essentially anything that's not got um, an asterisk or star next to it uh, these are all can be done on the Ninja 5 so you've got up to um, essentially 50 frames a second uh, 4K DCI, uh, up to 25 frames a second 5.8K, so um, that's 4x3 open gate, up to uh, essentially 30 frames a second 5.7K, uh, which is 17x9. Um, uh, and then the uh, 4x3, uh, 4.4 4x3 anamorphic that's actually um, only limited to the uh, the Ninja 5 plus so yeah if you if you go up to that recorder you're going to get 120 frames uh, DCI 4k 
you get that little bit of extra kind of frame rate out of the um, 5.8K and you can bump up to sort of 50, 60 frames a second in uh, 5.7K. So it's quite a nice little additional for the um, the, the Ninja 5 Plus. Um, I'll leave links to all of these things down in the down in the description, you know, the recorders that you can kind of do all of this on and, you know, all those bits and links to uh, to these so you can have a little look for it yourself. But yeah, it's essentially just, um, you know, to kind of say if uh, that's something you're kind of interested in doing, you know, it's coming in the imminent future. And um, yeah, it's, it's something now you can do on the uh, G9 Mark II, which is, which is great, really. As I say, these um, it's not fully kind of confirmed specs on it. It will do raw over HDMI, but we don't know, you know, the exact ins and outs of it until the um, the firmware kind of specs and footnotes are there. But I'll um, I'll update with a new video when uh, all of that's released. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, then uh, please subscribe.